Have you ever wondered which planets have the most moons? If so, you're in for a treat. This video delves into the fascinating world of our solar system, spotlighting the five planets brimming with the most lunar bodies. We'll embark on a countdown journey, starting with the planet, boasting the least number of moons on our list, and working our way up to the celestial body, crowned with the most. So strap in and prepare to journey through our solar system as we explore the planets with the most celestial companions. Starting our countdown at the fifth spot is the red planet Mars. This rugged and seemingly desolate planet, often the subject of science fiction and the human quest for interstellar colonization, is home to a small but intriguing lunar family. Mars boasts two petite moons named Phobos and Deimos. These celestial bodies, unlike our familiar moon, are not spherical but rather are irregularly shaped, resembling lumpy potatoes. Phobos, the larger of the two, orbits so close to Mars that it completes an orbit in just over seven hours. Deimos, on the other hand, is smaller and orbits Mars at a more leisurely pace. These moons were discovered in the late 19th century by American astronomer Asaph Hall. The names Phobos and Deimos come from Greek mythology, representing fear and dread, fitting companions for Mars, the god of war. Fascinatingly, it is believed that these moons are not native to Mars, but rather they are captured asteroids. This theory is supported by their composition, similar to that of asteroids found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Their small size and irregular shape, coupled with their close proximity to Mars, make them intriguing subjects of study to understand the early solar system. NASA even has plans to send missions to these moons in the near future. While Mars may not boast a high number of moons, its two satellites are fascinating in their own right. Moving on, we find Neptune claiming the fourth spot. This gas giant, crowned with a striking blue hue, is home to 14 moons. Each one of these celestial bodies has a story to tell, a secret to reveal about the farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. The largest of Neptune's moons, Triton, is a sight to behold. Named after the Greek sea god, Triton is not only the biggest, but also the most intriguing. It's a moon that marches to the beat of its own drum, quite literally. You see, Triton follows a retrograde orbit, meaning it moves in the opposite direction to Neptune's rotation. In the cosmic ballet of the universe, Triton is a rebellious dancer, defying the norm and adding a dash of mystery to Neptune's celestial family. But Triton is not alone. Thirteen other moons orbit Neptune, each one smaller than the last. From Nereid, the third largest with its highly eccentric orbit, to tiny Naiad, the innermost moon, Neptune's moons are as diverse as they are numerous. These moons, far from being mere satellites, offer tantalizing clues about Neptune, its history, and its place in our solar system. They serve as reminders that even at the edge of our solar system, there are wonders waiting to be discovered, secrets waiting to be revealed. Despite its distance from the Sun, Neptune's moons make for some intriguing study. Next up, at the third spot, we have Uranus. As we journey into the celestial realm of Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, we find ourselves in the company of a staggering 27 known moons. This icy giant, named after the Greek god of the sky, is a fascinating world with a complex family of moons that adds to the rich tapestry of our solar system. The five major moons of Uranus are a sight to behold, each one unique, each one a world unto itself. Let's start with Miranda, the smallest of these five, yet arguably the most interesting. Its surface is a chaotic mix of terrains, leading some to believe it may have been shattered and reassembled. Next, we have Ariel, with its system of valleys and canyons suggesting geological activity in its past. Then, there's Umbriel, 
the darkest of the five, its surface a mystery covered in a layer of dark material. Titania, the largest moon of Uranus, boasts deep valleys and fault scarps, a testament to its tectonic past. Lastly, Oberon, the outermost of the major moons, is home to an old, heavily cratered surface, indicating a long history of cosmic impacts. These moons, with their unique features, offer a glimpse into the diverse processes that shape the celestial bodies within our solar system. Their presence around Uranus hints at the intriguing complexities of planetary science and the ongoing evolution of these distant worlds. Uranus, with its family of 27 moons, certainly adds to the diversity of our solar system. Almost at the top, in the second spot, we find Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, is a celestial spectacle with a stunning collection of moons. As of today, this gas giant boasts 82 known moons, each with its own distinct characteristics and quirks. Yes, you heard it right, 82 moons. Now let's focus on the star of the show, Titan. Titan is not just any ordinary moon. It's the second largest moon in our solar system, only slightly smaller than Jupiter's Ganymede. But what makes Titan truly stand out is its complex atmosphere. You see, Titan is the only moon in our solar system to have a dense atmosphere, and it's even thicker than Earth's. This atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and ethane. It's so thick that it obscures our view of the moon's surface from space. But that's not all. Titan's atmosphere is so complex that it even has its own weather system. It experiences seasons, just like we do on Earth, and it has clouds that rain methane and ethane. This exotic rain seeps into the ground, forming vast lakes and rivers on Titan's surface. In fact, Titan is often compared to a primitive Earth, offering a glimpse into our planet's past. It's a tantalizing destination for future space exploration missions, with scientists eager to uncover its secrets. Now let's not forget the other 81 moons of Saturn. Some are tiny, just a few kilometers across, while others, like Rhea and Iapetus, are several hundred kilometers in diameter. Each one of these moons adds a unique piece to the fascinating puzzle that is Saturn. Saturn, with its dazzling rings and multitude of moons, is truly a gem of our solar system. From its largest moon Titan, with its complex atmosphere and weather system, to its smallest moonlets, each contributing to the planet's unique character, Saturn never ceases to amaze and inspire. Saturn, with its dazzling rings and multitude of moons, is truly a gem of our solar system. And now, at the top spot, we have the king of the planets, Jupiter. If you thought Saturn was impressive with its 62 moons, prepare to be astounded. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is home to a staggering 79 known moons. That's right, 79. It's a celestial royal court fit for a king. But among this multitude of satellites, four stand out, known as the Galilean moons, named after their discoverer, Galileo Galilei. These are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, each with their unique characteristics and mysteries that continue to fascinate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. First up is Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. This moon is a fiery world of molten rock and sulfurous plumes, painting a vibrant, ever-changing landscape that's nothing short of otherworldly. Next, we have the icy moon, Europa. Beneath its frozen surface, scientists believe there may be a saltwater ocean twice the size of all of Earth's oceans combined. This potential habitat makes Europa one of the most promising places to look for life beyond Earth. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, is even bigger than the planet Mercury. It's the only moon known to have its magnetic field. Ganymede's surface is a mix of two types of terrain, dark, heavily cratered regions and lighter, younger regions marked with an extensive array of grooves and ridges. 
And last, but certainly not least, is Callisto. This heavily cratered moon has the oldest, most heavily cratered surface in the solar system, a testament to the cosmic battles it has survived over the eons. Each of these moons, with their unique geology and potential for life, contribute to the rich and diverse family that orbits Jupiter. They are a testament to the planet's gravitational might and its standing as the reigning monarch of our celestial neighborhood. With such a diverse array of moons, Jupiter holds the crown for the planet with the most moons. As we conclude our cosmic journey, we take a moment to reflect on the fascinating discoveries we've made. We've journeyed to Mars, the red planet, home to two moons, Phobos and Deimos, that keep it company in the cold expanse of space. We've delved into the mysteries of Neptune, the blue giant with a family of 14 moons, each with their unique characteristics. We visited Uranus, the light blue planet, hiding 27 moons within its gaseous atmosphere. We've admired Saturn, the jewel of our solar system, a planet adorned with a staggering 82 moons, each contributing to its stunning beauty. And finally, we've marveled at Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, a titan boasting a whopping 79 moons. In our vast and varied solar system, these celestial bodies and their moons continue to inspire awe and curiosity. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmos.